Hey guys, Mark here, Rainwars for Crush. Welcome back. Folks, I just want to um, encourage my brother and sister with this message today. Those who are going through a tough season, a tough time, um, you know, I'll call it a season of testing and trial. And it hasn't been easy as you've been, um, as you've been going through this and walking through this. And I know many in the body of Christ right now you know, um, are in different places that the Lord has us. Um, and there's been a testing of our faith. But I'm here to encourage you that God has not abandoned you. God has not left you. If you are a born-again believer in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, you've been walking with Him, you've been trying, you know, following the Lord. <laughs> and now all of a sudden you're starting to see different challenges pop up. Okay? Um, that were unexpected, that weren't thing. It's not for us to become concerned and that the Lord, um, you know, because the first thing, a lot of times what we do is when different things pop up in life, you start to turn inwards. You start to go ahead and look at yourself. So what, 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 you know, um, man, Lord, you know, are you mad at me? Is you, are you upset? Are you, you know, did I, you know, is there something I did wrong? Is there, oh, it's a sin. Um, all kinds of stuff. We start looking and trying to judge ourselves. Now, <clears throat> I'm not saying that it's it's um it's not a, a good thing for you to go ahead and look inwards. Um, you know, take a self a self check. It's fine. But what I'm saying is, is not it's not necessarily that you're in this situation that you're in because of sin. That's what I'm trying to say. There may be things that God is working in you or working out of you, in your heart, in your mindset, in your character, in the way that you treat people or interact with people. Um, the showing the love of God, <clears throat> you know, or maybe it may be a vice or something like that that you know that you, that, that, that you can't shake. <clears throat> um, there, there could be a whole host of things that God is doing to work out of you. And it's not necessarily it's because that you did something wrong. But it's, 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 it's God taking us through that, um, trying to mature us. You know, in the scripture it talks about getting us off of milk and onto the meat. You know, growing us up spiritually. You know, I was telling a friend the other day. And when you, you know, when you're first <laughs> coming into the body of Christ, right? When you first got, you were born again, new born again believer, right? Um, and you pray to God, you ask God for something. Man, that answer to that prayer comes, I'll call it instantaneous, it looks like, almost immediate. You pray for something, boom, the answer comes. Pray for something, boom, the answer comes. But if you've been a believer for a long time, say you've been walking with God, several years <clears throat> and um you've been walking with him now when you pray right and you ask god for for something put your request up to the lord but you may not see that 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 answer as fast as how you did when you were a new believer why <clears throat> See, when you're a new believer, you know, God is, um, you know, it, it's for lack of a better word, um, you know, you're new. So, you know, the Lord, the Lord is, you know, he's building your faith in him and, and, and showing, revealing himself to this new believer. <clears throat> and so the questions and all the things that this person may have, because he's so like if he's a baby, you want to respond to it quickly. When you're a grown-up, you're no longer a child. You've been walking with God for a long time. You've been in the Word of God. You've had that relationship with the Lord. Sometimes the prayer can be answered like this. But other times, folks, you could be standing and asking God for a prayer. And it could be weeks. It could be, I'll call it, <laughs> um, yeah, weeks, even months. Possibly a year or years. 
to see that answer come. And that's your faith. And that's, and that's you know, what, whatever it is that you're asking God for, and it's in line with the word of God. It's a promise of God. That means that, you know, the Lord has spoken on this, and this is a promise he's made. But you just haven't seen it um, materialize yet in your life. No, it may, God may allow a longer period of time because he's, he is now maturing your faith, you know, bringing you, you know, um, I, I have a lot for lack of a better word, you know, you're not a baby anymore. So your faith and your trust in God, um, should increase when God doesn't respond to you. You know, I'll call it like yesterday. <clears throat> doesn't mean that God doesn't care. Doesn't mean that God doesn't love you. Doesn't mean that God hadn't heard you or anything like that. In fact, uh, he has. <laughs> but <clears throat> sometimes um, God will, will allow us to, to, to be in something to stretch our faith, to believe him, even though whatever it is that we see doesn't line up with what we're believing him for. Or maybe even the situation looks like it's, it's deteriorating and going the other way. But that we know that God is faithful and that whatever it is that he's promised, in the end, when it's all said and done, when it's all said and done, he's absolutely true to his word. And that that thing that you're believing, God bore, you'll see. <clears throat> you know, during this time of shaking, I call it shaking time of testing and all that, the enemy likes to come against the believer and wants you to believe that God has abandoned you. God doesn't love you. God doesn't care for you or else, well, you know, why would you be going through what you're going through? Hasn't God heard your prayer? You know, God's angry, he's mad. You know, you could write it off. He doesn't want to do things for you. Look at your behavior, look at your lifestyle, look what you've done. Remember that what you, you did several years ago and everything like that? Right? Kinds of things the enemy tries to go ahead and bring. To make you disconnect from the Lord. Throw in the towel. Or for them, for you to believe the lie that God no longer loves you. I want to expose that lie right now. In um, Romans 8. Verses or verse 38 and 39. It says this. And I want to speak to this to my brother, my sister, right now, where the devil has been trying to, I call it, rake you over the coals, trying to make you think that because of what you're in, the difficult situation or circumstance you may be experiencing right now, and it's, folks, it's only for a time. Whatever it is that God has allowed you to go through this situation. It's for your good. And in the end, you'll be blessed for it. This is what it says, Romans 8. Or Romans 8, verse 38. It says this. For I am convinced that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor demons, neither present, nor the future, nor any power, neither height, nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate you from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Folks, nothing, nothing, nothing will be able to separate you from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. So the lies that the enemy keeps telling you, that it's only the sin that you went and he did, or, you know, um, God is mad at you because, you know, you were walking into disobedience. You did this, you did that. Accusing, bringing accusations against you. 
to make you doubt the love of God. I'm here to expose that lie of the enemy. And I'm here to tell you that God loves you, cares for you. And that this, I'll call it time of trial that you're going through right now, God is with you and is going through it with you. And as he has entered it with you and you're walking through it, it also um, will come to an end, meaning that you will exit this trial, whatever it is that it is. And that work that God is doing in and through you, whether it be molding your character, your mindset, your, your thought process, tearing down strongholds, attitude changes, whatever it is that the Lord is working out in you that needs to be worked out, it will be worked out and he will bring you through. So I want to encourage you in that. If this message speaks to you, give it a like, a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button. You know, Jesus loves us, folks, loves us, and only wants the best for us. And I encourage all those who do not know Jesus, who have not received Jesus as their personal Lord and Savior, to come today and receive him today. I mean, folks, when Jesus comes into your life, absolutely transform it. And that's what I'm saying too, folks comes up and he starts doing cleanup work. But that cleanup work that he's doing is for your good. It's only going to take you to a better, a, a much better place than where you are today. <clears throat> so I'll end it right here. Share, like, and subscribe. Leave a comment. See you in the next video.